Ball Hockey National Championships for St. John, New Brunswick. We are here high above at uh, Harbor Station, home of the St. John Sea Dogs, uh, former Memorial Cup champions, uh, two-time president champ. So take that back, three times president champions. <laughs> uh, they won the President's Cup again this year and lost in the semis. Um, at this year's memorial. But in this afternoon's action, we've got the St. John Most Wanted in the white. They'd be going from your right to left, taking on Manitoba. And these games are two 20 minute periods for you uh, folks that might just be tuning in to watch uh, uh, your team. You got uh, friends or family playing on it. Uh, Manitoba, you got a busy spot this uh, these two weeks with the can of games happening out in Winnipeg. Uh, so that's a, that is exciting, and the weather has been uh, looking great from uh, myself tuning in uh, to try to catch some of the great action going on uh, uh, over the last uh, week and uh, now in the week two of the Canada Games in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And I know they're doing a fabulous job. So, but we're glad you could tune in and catch uh, some ball hockey action that's going on. So uh, hope you enjoy the uh, the broadcast. We're gonna be here all week uh, broadcasting from Harbor Station. Uh, and tomorrow there is some games still happening over at the Lord Beaver Brook Rink too. And we'll be carrying that as well. Puck behind the net, Manitoba comes out with it. And this, uh, this surface is just slightly bigger than the LBR, same length, but uh, uh, three feet, I, I believe three, at least three feet wider. So uh, lots, of, uh, lots of area to cover here. Uh, and away come, here comes the, uh, the most wanted, St. John, that was 71, uh, shooting it in. Matt Bercy, behind the net is Andrew Lagden. Saunders trying to get it out in front, chip to the other side. And Manitoba finally controls it. And here's a break. In comes Manitoba, oh, a nice save. That's number 20 in net. Troy Reardon. Obviously when you're four checking, you don't want to give the team a lot of space there to get the, get themselves set up. And uh, St. John is trying to do that now. There's a good breakout pass. Chipped in. Going back behind his own net is uh, Fitzgerald. He gets it out. But kept in by Manitoba. Here comes a dangerous rush. along the boards but kept in at the point shot in wide that's Mac Hardy 77 there's a turnover oh a block shot those give coaches nightmares those de defensive zone turnovers that's cleared in deep and we got a line change going on for the uh, St. John squad chipped out along the boards And away comes St. John. Nice cross team pass. Oh, a nice save. It's number 60 in net for Manitoba. Pat Ross is protecting the twines for the boys in gold today.
Just give you an update in some of the scores that had happened yesterday in men's action. Edmonton Savage defeated Sas uh, Saskatoon Buffalo 4 0. Vancouver defeated Ottawa 4 uh, Ontario 4 1. Newfoundland defeated the St. John Most Juan last night in a very entertaining game at the LBR 3 2. And Manitoba lost a tough one to Brampton 2 1. So, and uh, this Manitoba squad is always uh, a metal contention team coming out of Manitoba. They're always in the hunt. And uh, also that Brampton team, uh, years gone by, has been a very powerful, powerful program coming out of, uh, out of Ontario. And here's a great scoring opportunity. But uh, Raj shut the door there on that uh, St. John threat. So yes, Brampton beat Manitoba last night 2-1. So both these teams are 0-1, are looking for their first victory. And then uh, at lunchtime today, we had an exciting game where Newfoundland defeated Brampton 3-2. Very, uh, so I know both these teams would like to get in the win column. Get that first victory underneath them. Get that uh, monkey off their back, so to speak. But uh, it looks uh, pretty even so far. Nice stick work there, to blocking that pass. That was uh, Trent Savoy there for St. John. Puck goes in deep for St. John in the slot. Nice stop by Ross. Nice pass through the, oh, just over the top of the crease. That was Andrew Lagden with a beautiful scoring opportunity and Ross just got a piece of it. Shots uh, going wide for Manitoba currently. There's a little poke check along the boards. It's Hardy with it, gets it across. And away comes at Manitoba. St. John takes care of business, chips it back out again. Need to, either team can't uh, sustain much uh, pressure in the opposition end, but we'll see what Manitoba can do here on a real nice pass in between the legs of uh, the St. John defender, and they get it out in the uh, prime scoring area, but uh, Reardon makes the stop for the uh, most wanted. 12.55 here to go. Be sure to join TV1 Scott Squires and CTV Cyril Lunny on CV, CTV Sideline Scoop each Monday at 8.40 a.m. Atlantic, 9.10 a.m. Newfoundland. Get up to date on Bell Alliance 5 TV One's local sports coverage with Scott and Cyril at Sideline Scoop, Monday only on CTV Morning Live Atlantic. My name is Keith Raines and I'm glad you could join us here. Brian Fisher is bringing you the, uh, the great camera work as we're here at Harbor Station in St. John, New Brunswick for the 2017 National Ball Hockey Championships. And we're gonna be here from nine to nine. Yay. <laughs> uh, I don't know what our voices are gonna be like then, but uh, we'll see what we can do here. But uh, we're gonna have five great days of action. Uh, we have uh, six uh, teams in the women's side. Uh, we have eight in the men's and then six more in the we have men's masters and that uh, schedule it will be starting tomorrow so uh, lots of ball hockey and lots of teams here in st john for the uh, national championships there's a shot right on there's a rebound score and that is scored by we're trying to get the number here See if we can get him for you. And that's number 19 for St. John, Riley Kraft. 
I wonder if that is any relation to Jeff Kraft. Probably not, there, because there's a Gordy Kraft and a Bobby Kraft on the team, so I'm going to say he, he, he probably related to one of those guys. But what a big goal for St. John to hit the twine first. So that's at 7.50 of the first period. St. John, the most wanted, gets the first goal here. Gets along the boards. And it, it's great. Uh, <clears throat> I know here in St. John, I have fr friends of mine who have played senior hockey and and one of the things that they have done over the years is to play ball hockey as it keeps them, uh, themselves in great uh, cardio condition uh, through the course of the, of the summer rather than just, uh, you know, having some pops and, and maybe putting on a few extra pounds is uh, they play ball hockey. And uh, it is quite a workout. Uh, in hockey, sometimes you can sort of glide and, you know, Everything here, you, you gotta move your feet. Uh, if you shoot it in the corner, you gotta go get it. And the same thing is you can't glide over to the, uh, the benches to make a change. You gotta run all the way. So it's a tremendous uh, conditioning uh, sport. Uh, and as you can see, uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of the hockey players do it to uh, keep themselves in that top notch. And, and the competition is good too, right? So, and that, uh, that never hurts. Here's a, here's a break for Manitoba. Oh, they just could not connect on that one. And away comes St. John again on a nice play. Here's a good run. Shot in deep around the boards. St. John, oh, just... That's one of the hard things to do too. I was talking to some of the players. It's like running and trying to shoot at the same time, like a, especially a slap shot. Where in hockey you can glide into it with, uh, uh, but in in ball hockey you're running, so you're constantly bouncing up and down, and sometimes it makes it obviously a little bit more difficult. Nine thirty-three here left. Uh, Saint John most wanted up one nothing over Manitoba selects. Be sure to follow TV1 Atlantic on social media. You can join the conversation at TV1 underscore Atlantic on Twitter and, and Instagram. And TV1 Atlantic on Facebook. Vibe TV1, powered by Bell Alliant. Keith Raines in the booth, along with Brian Fisher doing the uh, camera work today. There's a, here's an opportunity. Oh, just over top of the crease. Another glorious scoring opportunity for St. John. They have it back again. There's a shot by number 11, Matt Morehouse. Morehouse has it again. Shoots it just wide. St. John's on the puck, on the ball. That just misses the, the cage. Nice play by Savoy. Can't get it out though. Good stick work. That's Whitehill trying to come out in front of that. Excuse me, that was Levesque, 74, trying to come out in front. Whitehill now back to the point. Shot wide by uh, Hardy. And now Manitoba's putting some pressure on. And that's deflected out of play. 8-11 left, one nothing. St. John's. Most wanted over Manitoba Selects. Watch inside the AOS for a look at what makes Atlantic University Sports the ultimate student athlete experience. 
Inside the AOS is available to Vibe customers in Atlantic Canada on Channel 1 and 401 and at bellalliant.ca slash TD1. There's another shot just wide again. That was uh, Marchuk with it, and away comes St. John on the far side, winding up, looking. Nice save. Oh, into the goaltender, and the goalie does not like that. St. John player was going hard in for a deflection or a rebound and just lost his balance, and he tripped over the goalie, but uh, the goalie just let him know that uh, uh, you're not welcome there. And there's a, whoop. Oh. That's called flooring in uh, ball hockey. The uh, ball hockey version of icing. But since we have no ice, it's called flooring. A uh, big thank you goes out to the organizing committee for this event. Uh, as you are well aware, it takes many, many volunteers and many hours of uh, commitment to uh, uh, host such an event. Uh, I know you are going through that in Manitoba. Uh, you could have great facilities and outstanding volunteers, but if you don't have a local champion uh, that is willing to commit and dedicate the time that it takes to organize, then you don't have an event. But it's the same thing. There are the three components you need to host. You need to have venues, first of all. You need to have a local champion who's willing to take on the, uh, the task of organizing. And then you need to have a great volunteer base. And uh, if you do not have any one of those three, uh, then you don't have an event. So you need to have all three of those uh, components to, to host a successful event. And depending on the event, uh, sometimes you need more volunteers. Like a lot of people don't mind volunteering for this weekend or like in, in uh, out Manitoba, in that case, uh, you know, for those two weeks. Uh, and then you have other people who have dedicated sometimes years uh, in uh, meetings to uh, make an event happen. So. Uh, Big thank you always has to go out to our local volunteers and our local champions uh, to help make uh, the sports that we love great uh, and uh, the opportunity to be able to play in different national championships. Back at the action here, a little over six minutes left here to go. We have St. John Most Wanted up one nothing over the Manitoba Selects and there's that, whoa, there's that speed I'm talking about and uh, Little get little rough shot here, and that could have went either way myself. That's why I'm not a referee. Because 77 was going in with a great big time head of steam, and actually the St. John guy got the worst of it. Um, and I don't know if they're both going off. Yeah, okay, and that's a good call. Good call there, because the, uh, it was first initiated by uh, Hardy for Manitoba, but then the St. John guy did uh, sort of retaliate and get a shot in. So uh, good call by the official, and uh, they're still going to play five on five. Face off in the St. John in. 6.06 left to here we go. And here comes St. John, quickly in. Look, oh, looking for that pass. Just hopped over Saunders' stick. Saunders doing Yeoman's work there in the corner. He gets it back. There's a shot. That was nice. Morehouse with the shot. And out comes Manitoba. Little rebound. And that's offside. Now, just go over one of the rules. Uh, like I said, you, if we have folks tuning in uh, and not big ball hockey fans in general, 
You see the red line and the blue line. The blue line is the same to bring the puck in, offsides, whatnot. But once you, you gain the zone, then you can play right back to the red line. So that really expands the zone out, especially if you've got a power play going on or, or, or whatnot. So once you've gained the zone, the blue line, then you can play uh, up to the red line. So if you, if you see sometimes the ball gets out past the blue line and they shoot it back in and you see players still inside the blue line, that's all right. If it gets beyond the red line, then everyone else has got a tag to get outside the, uh, the blue line again. Here's a deep pass, just go, it just misses. So we have a face off deep in the St. John zone. 5.07 left to go. Visit bellwyant.ca slash TV1 for live stream schedule and on-demand content. TV1 is also available to Vibe customers in Atlantic Canada on Channel 1 and 401. Vibe TV1, powered by Bell Alliance. There's a block shot, nice block shot there by uh, Jackson. St. John's doing a good job of uh, blocking the shooting lanes. And we got a hand pass. That's a stoppage in play. Manitoba's going for a long pass, but that's uh, stopped by Brad Badger. Got another hand pass. And that's going to be a face-off outside. 405. Faceoff was won by Manitoba, but they couldn't control it, and uh, St. John bounces on it. That's Fenwick in the corner, tries to wrap around. That was 73, McHugh almost tucked it in that, that far corner. But a nice save there by Ross. Pat Ross, number 60. For the selects, 350 left to go here in the first and We have a penalty here to number 73, Derek Whitehill for the selects. And that's going to put, uh, and that's a, it's a two minute penalty. minutes for tripping. Shot down. Okay, now see if St. John can set it up here. 
Move the puck to the side. They're looking obviously in that high slot area. You got one, uh, one player in front of the net for any potential rebounds. Hard to get those shots through. Puck is cleared, and there's going to be a wholesale line change for Manitoba. 226 left in the first. 35 seconds to go in the penalty. Got to be careful here. Don't get a holding call. Fenwick with it. Gets it back to the point. That shot wide. It was Bercy with the blast. Whoa. Whoa, nice save by Ross on that blast. Pat Ross with the big save. Keep this a one nothing game. And the penalty is over, 148 left to go. Oh, there's a loose puck. And oh, and it's just sque squirms free there through the crease, but Manitoba comes away with it. Here comes a nice run by Kalen Cass. Gets it in front, the puck is loose. Cleared to the corner. And away comes St. John, just over a minute left to go in the first. Morehouse suits it in deep, going for a line change. And away comes St. John again, going hard to the net. Scores on a screen shot. Number 73, Josh McHugh with the blast. At 19.23 of the first. McHugh with a big goal for SJ. And that was a, a rush and uh, a St. John player was going hard to the net. And there was a screen set up and it had. Rick Savoy with the assist. 19-23, what a big goal. So that does it for the first period. We'll take a short break here and be back for more exciting action here from the 2017 National Ball Hockey Championships from Harbor Station in St. John, New Brunswick.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second half of this exciting men's senior ball hockey action. And the score is 2 nothing for St. John. St. John's going from left to right on your screen in the white uniforms in Manitoba in their traditional gold jerseys. In the first period, St. John opened the scoring at 7.50 on a bo uh, goal by Riley Kraft. And then with less at 19.23, the last minute of the period, a blast from Josh McHugh to give the uh, hometown boys a 2-0 lead. And it was, uh, it was a screenshot that, uh, that saw its way through and uh, tickled the twine to make it 2-0. Both these teams uh, have records of 1-0. Uh, Manitoba lost uh, last evening to uh, a, a tough game to Brampton. Uh, as I said earlier, Brent is one of the, <coughs> always one of the stronger teams at Nationals. So that was a tough 2-1 loss. And, uh, and the St. John boys had a heck of a great uh, game against uh, a very talented uh, Newfoundland team. And they went down 3-2. But uh, a good crowd was on hand last night at the uh, Lord Beaverbrook rink to watch that one because Newfoundland is definitely one of the powerhouses here uh, at this year's national, so uh, it gives you a measuring stick uh, how well teams can do against them. And, and this, uh, at lunchtime today, Brampton took on uh, Newfoundland, and Brampton lost uh, three to two. So Newfoundland is two and zero. Oh, Brampton's one and one, and these two teams here are both zero oh and one uh, going into today's action. There's a nice give and go play. Deflected off to the corner. St. John controlling it. Shots on goal uh, by St. John, 17, by Manitoba, 11. Here's a nice opportunity, just shot wide again. Great play there by Matt Burns just to get that ball in deep and so they can go for a line change. The coaching staff, head coach is Gordy Kraft for St. John. Assistants is Bobby Kraft, Rufi McGuire, and Mike McHugh. Team manager is Jordan Kraft. And equipment manager is Mason Lloyd. Be sure to follow TV1 Atlantic on social media. You can join the conversation at TV1 underscore Atlantic on Twitter and Instagram and TV1 Atlantic on Facebook. Vibe TV1, powered by Bell Alliance. My name is Keith Raines and I'll be here with you all week. And joining me up in the gondola here at Harbor Station is Brian Fisher, who's taking care of the production and all the great camera work. So we hope uh, you are enjoying it wherever you're at. Um, as I said earlier, Manitoba is a, is a hot, uh, hotbed of sports activity over these two weeks as uh, they're hosting the uh, 2017 Canada Games. I had an opportunity to play in the Canada Games, the Winter Canada Games, back a few years ago in Lethbridge, Alberta. Okay, more than a few years ago. <laughs> it was a lot of years ago. But uh, great opportunity where uh, they have different sports, uh, you know, uh, play one week and then uh, there's a wholesale change in, in a lot of cases and then you have a, a new group of sports coming in for the second week. Um, but it's great. Uh, I was actually uh, able to watch uh, uh, our, our sister station there, uh, TSN. We uh, broadcast uh, some of the volleyball uh, last evening and obviously I think they've got about 1200 hours of webcasting going on too out there so um, 
It's great when you, if you can't make it to the, the cha national championships, whether it be for ball hockey or Canada games, uh, but you can still watch it uh, on your computer. And uh, to see what's happening and, and catch, because that's one thing great about sports. You have to watch it live, right? There's no substitute. You got to watch it. You can't PVR this. And away comes Manitoba here. We have 18 shots to 11 for St. John currently in this game. And uh, the next goal, as they say, is large. And Manitoba wants it to be them. There's a high shot, comes in, nice save. Troy Reardon is guarding the pipes for the, uh, the most wanted this afternoon for St. John. Another save. That was a nice shot there by Whitehill. Manitoba starting to carry the play a little bit here. And that is a flooring. Now let's see if they uh, this next line can follow the momentum up uh, the previous line give, had given them. We have two brothers out there, Der uh, Derek and Shane Jingara, number 16 and 17 on the team. And, uh, and Shane is out there currently. Tyler Moore going into the corner for Manitoba. But away comes St. John. Yeah, they can't catch up to it. Kept in. Here comes a great scoring opportunity. Oh, nice defense. That was Jared Fitzgerald with the defensive play there for St. John, and he's off up to the races. Finally loses the, uh, the ball. Team 20 left to go here in the second. Two nothing. This is the final frame. These games are only two, they're two 20 minute periods. If there is a tie, it goes to a five minute overtime. And then if it's still tied, it's a uh, three person shootout. So if you win in regulation, you get three points. If you win in overtime, you get two. And if you lose in overtime, you get one point. Good defensive play there by Mac Hardy, number 77 for Manitoba. He get, now goes off, to get her a little bit of a breather. And back in it goes, but it's out of play. And a good fan throws the ball back. Keep the uh, tournament on budget. <laughs> Watch inside the UAS, AUS for a look at what makes Atlantic University sports the ultimate student athlete experience. Inside the AUS is available to Vibe customers in Atlantic Canada on channel 1 and 401 and at bellalliant.ca slash tv1. Vibe TV One, powered by Bell Alliance. Boston Pizza is one of the major sponsors of this event, and they are uh, having Player of the Game awards. Uh, at the end of each game, there's a Player of the Game from, uh, from each team, and uh, Boston Pizza is sponsoring that. So we thank Boston Pizza for their, for their support.
13-12. Shots on goal now is 18-14. Uh, St. John has been stuck at that 18 mark for a while here. And uh, slowly but surely, Manitoba is uh, starting to get a few more uh, shots on net. There's a shot, a save, and a rebound that gets cleared away. But Manitoba is putting on the pressure. Briscoe and uh, Metcalf out there for uh, Manitoba, putting the pressure on for the selects as they have been carrying the play. Now, shots are 18-15 for St. John. And uh, if Manitoba can uh, force St. John into a penalty here and get a power play, because they have been carrying the play to, uh, to St. John here in, the, uh, in this second period for the most part. Dylan Kelly, Kelly to Jin, uh, Jingra. Oh, score! And there it is, folks. Johnny on the spot. I believe that is Derek uh, Jingra. We'll see what the official score said. We'll wait for the official uh, score on that one. But uh, a shot that uh, Came right from behind the net, and the goalie could not find it, and uh, Manitoba pots it in on their 17th shot on net. As I said, you could almost feel it coming as they've been carrying the play. St. John can't get the puck out of the, uh, the ball. 16, Derek Gingera. Big goal for Manitoba. Put some right back in this game. And here comes St. John now trying to get add a little pressure. And that's the first time I had to turn my head to the right in a while. Now this is the time that uh, St. John needs to have a good shift to try to change that momentum a little bit in their favor as uh, Manitoba has been carrying the bulk of the play here in the second period as they needed to, you know, being down to nothing. They had a definitely uh, force the issue and they have done that. Now here comes St. John again. Puck deflected, but it's kept in. And it gets chipped out. And that's going to be delayed offside, so they, they let it go. And if St. John can get it out, the, there it is. That's offside. Yeah. He was across the blue line before the ball. 10 minutes, 12 seconds. Manitoba with the faceoff deep in the St. John most wanted zone. These, both these teams are 0-1 so far in championship play. Looking for their first win. 
And we got a very entertaining uh, game here, and I think we're going to have a very interesting last uh, 10, 10 minutes. There's a shot that's blocked. But there is, oh, rebound! <laughs> nice save! There by Reardon to keep it a 2-1 game. I tell you, if St. John gets a penalty here, boy, Manitoba is really going to be putting the foot on the pedal. That's Johnny Jarvis in the corner. Can't. Oh, there's a shot. Just goes over the top of the net. Jarvis just clears it out. The KG veteran said, let's go for a line change here. So Jarvis just... Uh, Shoots the ball down, get, they get a face off. Nineteen eighteen shots. St. John down to a one shot lead. They had an 18-11 shot differential at one time. Manitoba moving the ball nicely. That was Shane Jindera with the uh, the steal. Loose puck. Jindera over. Oh, nice block. Christensen with it. Throws it in the corner. There's another shot. Nice save by Reardon. And St. John's on their heels. 8.32 left. Lots of time. Face off one by St. John. Jarvis gets around the boards, gets it out of the zone. There's a loose puck in front. Oh, just can't get out. Jarvis keeps it in at the point. Away comes Manitoba. Levesque. Nice poke check. Brad Badger. And St. John's going for a line change. Got four, four new horses out there. Manitoba coming back. Levesque again. Oh, Marsty and I tell you, that is that going to be a four minute? Wow. Yeah. Anytime you get those sticks up, it's a high sticking. And yes it is, folks, that's a four minute penalty. Huge at this juncture of the game. And I had said earlier, I said, if Man Man the way Manitoba has been putting pressure on, if they can draw a penalty from St. John, they're gonna have a great chance to tie this game up and that's exactly what they have now. Stick it up high on the Manitoba player. And uh, he drew the four minute penalty. And that's what happens sometimes when the ball gets up in the air. You just want to whack it out. and uh, But you have to be in control of your stick. So here comes the Manitoba power play. That first one is blocked. Second one goes wide. And the, and the 
net comes off its, uh, its station there. So there's a stoppage in play and a face-off. 3.29 to go on the power play. 6.53 to go here in the final frame. Or we could have dun 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 dun. Overtime. We haven't had an overtime game yet. Just saying. Remy uh, Lawrence. Lawrence Sell was taking that face off for Manitoba. And the puck goes down, uh, the ball goes down deep in the uh, Manitoba territory. Remy has the puck. The ball. I'm going to have to put a little every time I say puck and ball. It's a hockey. Uh, we do too many hockey games. And Manitoba just can't seem to get the power play going just yet. Uh, they get lots of time. They over three minutes to go in the power play. But uh, it's been a little slow starting as of yet. And that's what happens sometimes is you're pressing so hard with five on five, and all of a sudden you get a power play, and you start slowing things down. And uh, and you got to keep the tempo. You know, you, you got to be moving that ball around still quickly so it opens up some passing and shooting lanes for you. So here they come. They won the faceoff. See what they can get going here. They get the puck in. But St. John does a nice job getting that puck out. That was Riley Kraft. No, excuse me, I take that back. That was uh, Trent Savoy with the uh, good defensive play. And here's a chance. Oh, what a save by Ross. Robbing. That was uh, Rod Chris Boyce with a glorious shorthanded opportunity, and Ross came up huge there for the Manitoba boys. See if that could be a TSN turning point. Wow. Now Manitoba setting it up. There's a quick one in front. Loose puck, bodies down. It's back to the point. Shot in, bodies everywhere. Now Manitoba's putting the pressure on. Under two minutes to go in the power play. Here's the slot, in the slot. Oh, just bounces around in that slot area, but St. John was able to find it first. And they were able to get a wholesale change here, get some fresh troops out. 138 left to go in the power play. Here comes Manitoba again. With a big shot, goes in wide. Johnny Jarvis gets that ball down deep in the Manitoba end. Paul Casties. He's got time. Swings it across there, there's the Casties. Oh, just couldn't pull the trigger as the ball got uh, in the feet of Casties there. Oh, bouncing back to the point. Christensen over, back to Christensen. Thirty-six seconds to go in the power play. Whew, a lot of winded players out there then bending over. I'm just under four minutes to go. St. John holding desperately onto that one goal lead. 35 seconds left, big face off here deep in the St. John end. Won by Manitoba, quickly moved around. Set it up for one more scoring opportunity here. And St. John doesn't clear it out though. And it kept in again, Marchuk. Chuck. 
Shot just goes wide. It's loose. It's on the side of the crease. They bang away at it. St. John rips it around the, the glass. Kept in still. Penalty's over. A little over three minutes here left. Manitoba now has the lead in shots, 22 to 20. They were down 18-11 at one time. Scores! That one just makes it way through. Shaq Maristy. Wow. After killing a four minute power play, that gets in, it squeezes in between the glove and the body of uh, Reardon. He, I think he, he thought he had it. And at 17.05 of the second, number 25. The resty. Jack ties it up. Two, two, and now the shots are 23, 20, folks. The, uh, the floor at Harbor Station is definitely tilted from right to left. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it at home. <laughs> But Manitoba has basically owned this second period. And uh, remember that save that Ross made on the shorthanded, uh, on the breakaway? Wow, has that not come back big? Because that was St. John's best scoring opportunity here in the, uh, in the second frame here, is uh, when they were shorthanded. And I believe it was... Uh, Chris Boyce uh, in alone there, went backhand, and uh, and Ross got his pad in the way of it. Now, see if St. John can mount a comeback here. At one time, going into this second period, they were up 2 nothing. They had scored goals at the 7.50 mark of the first, and then at 19.23 of the first, to go up 2 nothing. But Manitoba scored one at 8-12. Uh, Derek Jindra. And then at 17.05. Uh, Scores! Wow! Huge! Matt Burns. Burns, Manitoba. And you just let up for one second, and look what happens. Eighteen thirty-seven. A beautiful play gets him in alone. And we got a timeout here, man. Uh, St. John's calling a timeout. Here. Langdon with the pass to Burns there to send him in on just. I, like I said, the uh, the other great scoring opportunity that St. John had in that uh, have in the second period has been uh, that uh, that partial breakaway uh, shorthanded that uh, Ross just made an incredible save on. But quick hands by by uh, Burns to put that in the net here to give St. John this 3-2 lead here with 123 left to go, and now. Manitoba would be probably looking to pull their goaltender if they get a chance. And uh, 
Obviously, St. John would like to keep the, the ball deep in the Manitoba end here to eat up much time as they can on the clock and keep that goalie uh, in the net. And away he comes now. And that's a hard thing to do on its own, to run uh, with goalie pads on. And here they come. And they're going to get a face off. Now let's see if Manitoba calls a timeout. Yes, he is going to to give his troops a little bit of a rest and uh, set up a play with 51, uh, 51.7 seconds left. Be sure to join TV One's Scott Squires as, and CTV's Cyril Lenny on the sideline scoop each Monday at 8.40 a.m. Atlantic, 9.10 a.m. Newfoundland time. Get up to date on Bell Alliant Vibe TV One's local sports coverage with Scott and Cyril. That's Sideline Scoop, Mondays, only on CTV Morning Live Atlantic. Well, folks, here's what it's come down to. Now, as I said earlier, in the, in the points perspective, if you win in regulation, you get three points. If it goes to overtime and you win, you get two. And if you lose in overtime, you get one. And the overtimes work as follows. It's, uh, if it's tied, it goes to a five minute overtime. And then after that, it's a shootout. And they have, uh, from what I've been told, uh, they'll have, uh, it's a three player shootout. So, but right now Manitoba has need to get one here to tie it up. They have controlled the play for the most part of this second frame. Uh, they were being outshot 18-11 at one time. Now they lead 24-21 to 21 in the shot category. But they're down a goal. So here we go. Fasten your seatbelts. The puck is in front. The ball, I should say. They're looking for an opening there. They're moving it around. Big shot. Oh, gee, I think that hit the goal post. Oh, nice save by Reardon there. As everyone crashes the net, but that that big shot by uh, Sean Christensen. First one right off the far post, and he gets another blast at it, and uh, Reardon was, the, was able to come up big that time. Troy. No goal, offside. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they were complaining about. The, uh, the ball went outside, I believe, outside the red line. And uh, was players in, still inside the zone. And so everyone sort of let up there for a sec. Yeah. So close though, huh? 3.2 seconds left. And there it goes, folks. The first win for St. John. They win 3-2. Over the Manitoba Selects. We're going to take, uh, we'll be watching for player of the game. We'll take a short break and we'll be back for more exciting action here from the 2017 National Ball Hockey Championships from St. John, New Brunswick, and Harbor Station.
Where are the people? 